Hello and happy Multichrome Monday. Today's video is going to be all about the newest Opal Multichromes from Carla Cosmetics. I have them all here, all five of them. I'm gonna be using two shades to create two different looks. I've already used the other three shades on my reels actually. And I will link the reels down in the description box in case you're interested in the kinds of looks that I created with the other three shades. And I was sent these pigments, so thank you so, so much to Carla Cosmetics. And I do have an affiliated code with Carla Cosmetics and I'll put it up on the screen in case you're interested in purchasing anything from them. Let's get right into some swatches, some swatch comparisons, the two looks, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video. I'm going to be using the Blend My Dollhouse palette for both the looks. It just felt like it was a perfect pair. So I'm going to go in with Rouge first. And I'm going to pop that right into my crease. And then I'm taking Baby Doll right above that just to feather it out further. Create a nice blend. And then I'm going to go back in just a little bit of Rouge. Taking Cinched on a Blend Bunny B4 brush, I'm going to put that in the outer corner. And I'm just packing it on, and then I'm going to use, mm, I think I'm going to use Hold Me on the edges. I'm still using the same brush, I did wipe it off, and I'm just going to go back in with Cinched. And I do want to just blend it out here a little bit. So I'm going to go in with Baby Doll. I'm just going to merge everything. And then back out here just a little bit. I'm going to take a tiny bit of stitched and just put it right along my lash line. I'm just going to tap it in until it blends. Okay, I brought it out a little too far, not what I wanted. Going into no strings. Just blend it out here. All right, and I'm gonna be using the Fix Potion from Carla Cosmetics. This is like one of the best things to use with these kinds of loose pigments. I usually do just mix it in in the lid. Sometimes I do put it out. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, you really don't need a lot. I think I'm gonna start with this much. And then I just like to take a usually a synthetic brush, sometimes a little bit toothier. So let's see, I'm going to take this one. This is just like a ColourPop brush from a set. So you won't probably be able to get this one, but you could at least see how it's not fully flat. So I picked up a little bit of the potion and I'm just going to mix it in here. I'm probably going to need a little bit more actually. Um, sometimes I use a mixing dish and you could also just put the potion down and then go in on top of it, but I'm trying to minimize fallout. So I'm just going to be layering that all over my lid pretty much. So now because I already have it wet, I can actually just go in and layer on more because this shade is pretty translucent so see I can just put on a bit more and kind of really amp it up it is still going to be translucent but it's got a little bit more of a punch and in here a little bit more I'm glad I waited to do the rest of my face here's the first finished look using moody cow using the blend bunny blends Using the Blimini Dollhouse palette, I'm going in with Figure. And it's going 
right in the center of my lid. And then I'm just blending it up. And I'm taking Madame and it's gonna go all over the lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with Figure and the other brush and blend the edges of that. I was gonna do a halo eye, but now I'm like, maybe I just put it with the shade all over the lid, layer it over. Gonna go back into Madame just a little bit more. Really want to blend it out here. I feel like I needed a little bit more pigment there, so going in with figure. There we go, I think that's pretty good. So I dumped out some of Lucky Charm into the lid. Probably did too much. And I just want it to be a little bit pasty, mixing it with the Fix Potion. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. There's so many like pink flecks throughout it, it's super fun. And then I'm gonna just like tap out the edge here. I don't want it to be harsh. And I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more, just more pigment. Since it's still wet, so I have a little bit of work time. Here's a second finished look using Lucky Charm. I, I love these shades. I love that they have a little bit more pigment to them so they're not as iridescent as some of their other shades. They do have quite a bit of iridescent shades. They also have some black based multi-chromes and they also have some like pastel shades. And I think these are a great addition to their lineup. I love some of these tones, particularly the tone of Drama Queen. Like there's just something really interesting and beautiful about it. So I think it's really going to depend on what kind of color you see yourself wearing the most. These are very, very layerable. So you can layer these over darker mattes, lighter mattes as well and they will kind of affect the way that they look on the lid or you can use these alone and just put them all over the lid and get a really beautiful like iridescent but slightly pastel kind of look that looks wet i know i've said this quite a few times now but there's just something about loose pigments and they just tend to look different than a pressed eyeshadow especially these kinds of pigments they're very 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 sparkly and shiny and super super reflective and they're definitely messy which is really the biggest con which is why i love the fix potion from carla cosmetics i think i need to get a new one because i've had this for quite some time I do really, really wish they would put this in a tube though, so it would just be less likely to dry out as fast. And also, I think it would just be nicer to be able to squeeze out a little bit versus having to dip your brush in there. You gotta make sure your brush is clean. So I love to mix the potion in with the pigment actually to avoid fallout. They also make amazing, beautiful, super sparkly highlighters if that's something that you're into. Of course, not everybody wants to be seen from space. I do in particular. I'm actually currently wearing the shade uh, Beauty Sleep, which is a different opal multicrome. So you can see this one is iridescent versus this one has like a pinky base to it. And so I have that on my cheeks right now. On my nose, I did film a reel, so stay tuned for that. And then I also have it on the lid so you can see what it looks like when it's not on top of like a colorful eyeshadow. So let me know in the comments below which of these five shades is your favorite and if you've tried any of these and what do you think of them. And I have lots of any makeup, especially lots and lots of multi -chrome content up on my channel that you can check out and keep watching. So I hope to see you next time. Thank you.